River card. Oh! Oh my gosh. Every single one of the deuces. All the ducks on the pond. Oh, here we go. Quad alert. Quad yeah. alert. Quad <laughs> alert. Quad <laughs> alert at the featured table. Oh, oh baby. Hello. Eight, seven, seven. Every single one of the sevens. How do you flop quads? <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I did shower it so quick. We have a defense here from Patterson. Let's see. There it is. 10-6 suited. Oh, this is... Uh, demonic. Well. How do you flop quads? It's a cow with a nice, you know, spidey sense off the bat. Checks back. 2000. Pretty good flop for her in huh? theory. Yeah, you see the discomfort. She better hope she doesn't hit an ace or a king here. She does not. I think she may still, nevertheless... <clears throat> 6,600 in the pot as well. It's all oh. very weird. Yeah, a little south of two-thirds is what Patterson comes with. The wildly improbable holding. And this is just an odd spot for Zakao. We beat the bluffs and we fall to the value and, of course, the quads. Nobody really knows how to navigate these spots versus players we've never played with and so on. She gives him a glance. I like this. Here we are. Oh, bravo. I yeah, mean, not so easy. Yeah. It shows it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> nice hand. Petrangelo with sevens in the big blind. Cool. Uh, these two. Call? do not want to play a big pot. Mm -hmm. They're just trying to play a little small ball, move up, oh, and Oh, baby. Hello. Eight, seven, seven. Every single one of the sevens for Nick Petrangelo. Okay. Grani checks back. The turn is a three. 325K in the pot. We can see that a six would be an absolute disaster for Negreanu. Four seventy-five. Oh, and the overbet on the turn. It's going to be about four hundred and seventy-five. Too much. We're just... That was good. You had me beat. I didn't even. <laughs> Actually, a six on the turn, and I'm I'm screwed. There's some people on their feet over here checking the board. I got and... dinner in an hour. Oh, this works out well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Bilotti. All in, keep Bilotti. Oh, wow. Oh. wow. Quad <laughs> alert, quad <laughs> alert at the featured table <laughs> for Sam Ho. But there are more people in the peanut gallery that are just chattering away about how Matt doesn't know what he's doing than most, most guys I know who seem to know what they're doing. It's just amazing to me. Um, this is an above average flop for Hanson's hands. What do you think? <laughs> Let's see, he had an eight and he had another eight, and the flop two thirds of the cards are also eights. My goodness. <laughs> and, and his opponent's betting. No, his opponent called. Sorry. King high on a pair of board. Oh, Why he not? hits a four. That is bad news for Ichinose. Well, he thought his king might be good, and many times it is going to be good in this situation. So I don't think he's going to back off now. Yeah, the heart. Two pair. The heart maybe scares him. Yeah, he's coming along. This would be another situation where he'd be making an exploitable fold against this particular player, but if you're calling with king high and then you hit a four, I don't know how you fold. Hanson not even getting tricky. Not messing around, just bet, bet, bet. That's a lot of pre-call mumbling. Short. Oh, sorry. But it's not enough. You, got, you can't pay 80000 You got to put a full 160 in. And he's got quads. Yeah. Death by quads. Yeah. Like, let's be real. I have not seen Galen rock this, and oh. 
I think I kind of like it. I am. It fits him. In favor. Mm hmm. I don't like that it kind of looks like suspenders on him, but, you know, I could go with the rest of it. <laughs> Ace Ace Trey. What a flop for Galen Hall against Jaffe. Hall checks. And Jaffe, of course, with King High, but also the type of board that he can easily Double represent hundred. and follow up with that continuation bet being the pre-flop aggressor. Jaffe was very polite to me uh, because I was walking around talking to them with a face yeah. mask on, uh, and I had a hat on also uh, at the time. And so we were talking as a third spade falls out there. So Hall gets uh, a little more happiness out there. He's got the hand locked up. But So we talked. And I walked around, talked to all the other yeah. players, and then Reisner sat down late. I said, hey, John, it's Lon McCarron. And, and so we talked, and then I walked away, and I was walking away, and Jaffe comes running after me. He says, I didn't know who you were. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you know, with the mask, you never know. <laughs> oh, here we go. Quad alert. Quad yeah. alert. <laughs> <laughs> he came running down to it. says, I'm sorry. I didn't know who you were. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you know, but if you run it, you do that all the time, right? Yeah, and it's interesting because there's, like, the people that can easily spot somebody even with their mask on. And right. then me, I can never tell who someone uh, is when they're in a I, mask. I like, passed no by Kev Math today, and I know he didn't know who I was. Hey, Kev. And that happens a lot at a poker table for both of us, you know. If I don't say anything until I say, you know, good game, nice call. Then, oh, Lon's right. leaving, you know. <laughs> no disguising the voices of poker, guys. Like, <laughs> good luck getting away with that one. Did, and then all of a sudden, maybe the tide has turned. Hello, ladies. The min raise here with the queens. Deuces for Eve Sledge. Brent, your favorite. Absolutely my favorite hand, and he's getting a fantastic price. Certainly have to suspect that Petrangelo opening off of this very short, awkward stack has a premium. Oh, deuce in the window. Seven, five, deuce. All hearts. Petrangelo does have the queen of hearts. Huey, Dewey, and now Louie. Chad Eve Sledge. A set of mallards. Chandrilla bets the men. All, in. All, in. All of it. Well. And here we go. Nick Petrangelo all in and at risk with two queens. Does have the flush draw. Let's see if things turn around for Petrangelo. Not on the turn. River card. Oh! Oh my gosh. Every single one of the deuces. All the ducks on the pond. I told you that's why it's the best hand in <laughs> poker, Jeff. Winter going with the 3x sizing blind versus blind against Chidwick. Not the first time he's done that. Queen nine suited more than playable. TV defends. You to spend most of your time in New York? All of it. Oh, yeah? Great what place. a flop yeah. for Chidwick. Bottom pair and an open-ended yeah, straight good. flush draw. Wow. <laughs> they don't sleep. That means you've made it. They don't sleep in our bed. <laughs> or on the couch, so they're, they're good to go. Winter, of course, using that king to some effect. Say, yeah. Not only Upper with that area. equity, but of course, king queen possible to be in his range opening from the small blind. Hundred and five K C bet promptly called and if you're gonna miss that's the way to do it. Three hundred. Nevertheless he's going to try with a 300K bet, yeah, and give him a full house. 
And if you just call here as Chidwick, you know, you have just Perfect. under pot back for the river. You always want to give Winter some room. He's one that would go for it. And that's exactly what Chidwick does, choosing to flat. Got ourselves an over 1.2 million chip pot. And on the river, <laughs> how about quads for Chidwick? Quad Zillas and Winter. How far is he willing to take this? Two barrels have been fired. Is there a third in the chamber? It would be a on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a complete disaster for Sean Winter. <laughs> Chidwick simply just turning over the cards. Oh, you didn't play with Flexi Black?